to Chemistry 1407, Lab 5. I'm Wafa Doni. And this is Ikhua Y. So, we're going to do, the Lab 5 is about synthesis of biodiesel. Are you guys familiar with the term biodiesel, Ms. Y? Biodiesel is actually made from plant sources. And biodiesel versus a regular diesel is actually a lot safer because it's environmentally friendly and it is biodegradable. And less toxic. Right. Regular diesel comes from fossil fuels, so essentially the hope is in the future we'll go away from regular diesel and adopt biodiesel. So today's lab will be about synthesizing a biodiesel. So synthesizing a biodiesel. This is a simplified reaction pathway from the background of the lab content. Here, the main reactants are methanol, calcium hydroxide, and the vegetable oil. So, in the first step of the reaction, this step one, on step one, methanol reacts with calcium hydroxide and produces calcium methoxide. Calcium methoxide in this reaction pathway has two very important roles. One will be as a catalyst and another one will be as a reactant. So as a catalyst, the calcium methoxide reacts with methanol, produces the catalyst, another catalyst, and as a reactant, calcium methoxide reacts with the vegetable oil, which is essentially action triglyceride. Finally, so it produces a complex and finally the complex and the catalyst reacts and gives you the final product, the biodiesel. So this will be the step two and this will be the step three and this is the final product. Here, biodiesel is actually a kind of a ester, a methyl ester, and the two byproducts are the diglyceride and calcium methoxide. You can see it's a catalyst, it was a catalyst, so it gets regenerated. So this is the simplified version of synthesizing a biodiesel here, methyl ester. Wearing the safety equipment is very important from the lab. Make yes. sure you take the time to get the proper safety equipment. As you can see, we're wearing our lab coats. You are provided with an apron which comes in your lab kit. You're provided with natural gloves too, and you are provided with this very nice, handy dandy uh, lab goggles. So as you saw, Miss Tony, she adjusted it so it can fit her. Mm -hmm. Make sure you adjust it so it fits your head. Okay, looks like we're ready to go for lab. Yeah. So here you have, here you have the reactants, methanol, the vegetable oil, and calcium hydroxide. To do the lab, we need a dropper to take some of the vegetable oils, a vial, a glass vial. To measure out the, to measure out the methanol, we need the cylinder. And to do the reaction, we need a glass test tube. So all of these items come in your kit, so we yeah. should all be provided with, as a kit. Yeah, with the weighing balance. And this came with batteries. You already fit it in yeah. the batteries, so yeah. it should be available. Yeah, it should be available. We're going to go ahead and start with the lab activity. Yes. So first of all, uh, we're going to weigh out 0 0.02 gram, about 0 0.02 gram of calcium hydroxide in the weighing balance. So let's put the weighing pan right here. Tear it. And I'm going to try to take about 0 0.02 gram. The purpose of tearing is to make sure that you're kneading the mass of the weighing boat. And since we weren't provided with a spatula, we have to use this method to transfer the calcium hydroxide into the dram vial. So, I could not 
take it as uh, exactly at 0 0.02 gram. So you guys, when you try it, try to be as close to 0 0.02 gram. Now I'm gonna put the calcium hydroxide in the vial. Meanwhile, Ms. White can uh, measure out 8 ml of methanol. Since we have the calcium hydroxide weighed out and measured out, I'm gonna be measuring the 8 milliliter methanol in the graduated cylinder. So 8 milliliters is right at this level. Make sure you have your goggles on and your gloves for this. So I'm gonna pour this in here and stop at eight milliliters. Oh, I think that's good a little bit. Okay, right at eight milliliters. So we got that. Mm -hmm. And let's add this methanol to the vial. Cap it and shake it. Shake it really well. It's important that you mix the reactants. Allow it to, these two, to mix. Making sure there are no more calcium hydroxide left. Now, let's wait for 10 minutes. Okay, after 10 minutes, Let's open up this vial. You have to be careful. Keep it away because pressure might build up. Then we add one ml of vegetable oil in it. So this will be the last step. So you have to wait for 48 hours. Before that, make sure to vigorously shake it again. Mix it well. We will be back in 48 hours. And then we're gonna do a quality testing on the biodiesel produced. Here, after 48 hours of mixing all the uh, reactants, we're here to test the properties, some of the properties of this biodiesel. So first of all, Let's see the density. We're gonna need graduated cylinder. So let's take about one ml of the biodiesel. Biodiesel will be the top liquid layer. So let's do this. About one ml. There you go. So, you know the volume. From the weighing balance, you can see the mass. So, from there, you can easily calculate the density. So, what, what was density again? Mass by volume. Now, let's see the pH of this by diesel. So, simply take a strip of the, from the pH, from the packet strip see if there's any color change or not and make sure to write down your observation on the data table then what what else we can do we can see that this biodiesel mixing with methanol what would be the reaction so I have here about 7 ml of methanol weight let's uh, take this 1 ml of the biodiesel And let's see, mixing with methanol, does it form any other layer or not? Let's see. So, let's see, come, let's mix it well. So, Make sure to write down what is your observation. Do you see any insoluble layer or not? So that's it. That's it for the properties of the biodiesel. Make sure to write down all of your observation on the data table.